Singapore is carrying out further analysis on COVID-19 patients who have recently arrived from Europe. It has already reported the first imported case of the new strain that's circulating in the United Kingdom. Eleven others have tested preliminarily positive for the variant. Now, vaccine makers will need to keep up with virus mutation, as one local expert explains. The risk of it spreading in Singapore is actually quite low. That's because the only way the virus can come in is if it goes leaks through the, the ports of call. So that's through air or through sea travel. Uh, in the context, Singapore is going to be very, very slim. But if you actually look at it in a worldwide fashion, I'm very, very concerned on this B117 strain. If you look at the strain earlier in February and March that came from Italy, the D614G, in the less than a month, it became the predominant strain throughout the whole world. That's with very little travel restrictions. Coming back now to B117, I expect it to take over the whole world within less than a month. So why, why am I worried? Because every mutation means that it can spread faster. Potentially, it may actually cause more severe infections and it just makes us lose another edge over the virus. We don't know if the virus will mutate such that it overcomes the vaccine. There is a distinct possibility. And given the number of mutations that are going out there in the world currently, it is very likely that it can come with a mutation very quickly. Mind you, in less than a year, there were two significant mutations that were detected. Besides these two, I'm very sure there are easily five to ten more. And any of these could actually mutate against the COVID-19 vaccine which we have. And this gives us very little uh, confidence in the vaccines thereafter. If you realise there is an ongoing race, the race where the virus is mutating, the race at which we are trying to do the vaccines at the same time.